Bat's home was a vast cave filled with jagged rocks and exciting pathways. It was the best home in the entire world. He shared it with Dad and lots of other bats. But he was not like them. Every night, Bat flew out of the cave to explore the deep, dark night like the other bats. Every night, he wanted to stay home and do his own thing instead. Everything is so beautiful at night, his dad told him. I can't understand why you don't love it. I go out in the night all the time, Bat groaned. It's boring. But think about the starlight, Dad said. Starlight is overrated, Bat replied. The sounds of the night are so lovely, Dad told Bat. They're just sounds, Bat argued. It's not music or anything. Even you have to agree that the shadows the trees cast in the moonlight are intriguing, Dad added. The shadows are my least favorite part of the night, Bat informed him. I don't even want to go flying at night anymore, Bat declared. But all bats love to glide through the night sky, Dad told him. Are you feeling okay? Is everything all right? I'm fine, Bat said with a sigh. When the time came to leave the cave again, his dad said, Let's just do it together this one time. Then you can decide whether you want to fly tomorrow night. Fine, Bat reluctantly followed. That shadow looks like a giant mushroom to me, Dad told Bat. And that one looks a little bit like a raccoon. Hmm, Bat said. He could see the shapes now, but he didn't want to admit it. Do you hear the frogs singing to each other, Dad asked. Frogs can sing, Bat wondered. He didn't want to be interested, but he sort of was. It's a beautiful night to look at the stars, Dad told him. Even the ones that aren't up in the sky, Bat replied. As Bat watched the fireflies and stars that night, he realized that maybe he had been missing out all this time. Bat smiled at his dad. I guess the night isn't so bad. Maybe I'll fly with you tomorrow too.